All right, welcome to today's class. This is Online Math TV. Today we have a challenge on the board. The question is how to find the square root of iota, which is our i, the symbol for imaginary numbers in mathematics. The question was drawn by one of um, my viewers. So let's look at this question and put on a uh, challenge here. We know in mathematics that the square root of a minus one is equal to your iota. So if we have the square root of this iota, how do we get the true value for this? Before we go into today's challenge, if you're new here, kindly subscribe. Now, when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever I drop a wonderful video like the one you're about to watch right here. So quickly, let's recall that the square root of your i is equal to a plus your b i. Let's take this as our equation one. We'll be making a reference to uh, this identity here. Where your a is your real number, here we have real number, then multiply your imaginary number. If I want to get my i from here, then I will square both sides of the equation. And so if I square both sides, I'm going to have the square root of i, r squared, equal to your a plus b i, r squared. Again, this, we go with this. So we're left with our i equal to, this is same thing as our a plus b i, or into your a plus b i. And if we open up this side of the equation, we're going to have this to be our i equal to your a squared plus two a b i, the plus your a b i or squared. If we go by this identity again, if I decide to square this, the I square this side of the equation, this, this will leave. So I'm going to have minus one equal to my i squared. So if we have the square of iota equal to minus one, then we can bring that in here because this expression is the same thing as your a squared plus two a b i the plus b squared i squared. So we can replace the minus one with this. So if we do that, the minus sign will multiply this plus sign, so it will change this to minus. And so we cannot have this to be, let's put our i here, equal to your a squared plus two a b i minus b squared. Good. Now let's look at this carefully. This is a real number. This is a real number. So let's bring this and this together. Here we have imaginary part of it. So let's this be on the server. So let's move this guy here. And so we can already write this as our i equal to your a squared minus b squared plus your 2abi. Let's give this equation 2. Here we are having imaginary part here. Here we are having re part here, re number part, but we don't have re number part here. So we can bring that re number part here. And so this will now become, we can rewrite this as our i plus zero equal to your a squared minus b squared plus two a b i. Your zero here is your re number part. The a squared minus b squared is a re number part. Okay, so we can now go and compare the re and the imaginary side of this expression. So let's continue on this part of the board. So comparing coefficients. Let's compare the re number part of the equation first. So this will now give us here your 0 equal to your a squared minus b squared. Simple. So let's give this equation three. Okay. Then on this other side, let's compare the imaginary part. We're going to have this to be one equal to the coefficient of this. So we have two a b. And let's give this equation four. If we take equation um three from equation three and make a the subject of the formula. So we'll now say from equation three. 
So we have a squared equal to b squared. And so this and this will leave. Okay, so a is equal to b. Let's give this equation 5. So if we're having a equal to b, let's look at our equation uh, 4. So from equation 4, we we'll say here from equation 4, okay, sorry, equation 4. What is our equation 4? We have 1 equal to 2 a, B. If we are to make A the subject of the formula here, meaning we are to divide by 2, B. So let's divide by 2, B here. Okay, this, we go with this. So we now have A equal to 1 all over 2, B. Now, if we have A equal to 1 all over 2, B, and we've established the fact from equation 5 that A is equal to B, so we can equally put A in here. So if we do that, we're going to have this to be our a equal to 1 all over 2a. Simple. Now multiply through by a. If we multiply through by a, we're going to have a squared equal to 1 all over 2. Okay, let's proceed on this other side. Here we are looking for a squared. So we take the square root of both sides. And so this will give us here a equal to the square root of 1 all over 2. We put our plus minus in here. Simple. Okay. So we've gotten the value of our a to be this plus minus the square root of 1 all over 2. If we come to that same realization, look at our uh, expression here. So from this same expression, we can get our b from here. So from here, let's give this equation uh, 6. So if we give this equation 6, and then let's bring out this expression again. So we say from equation 6, from equation 6, what is our expression here? We have a equal to 1 all over 2b. Recall we said from equation 5 that a equal to b so we can equally put b in here so we have here b equal to 1 all over 2b again multiply through by b this will now give us b squared equal to 1 all over 2 taking the square root of both sides what will happen this and this will leave so we introduce our plus minus so we now have therefore b equal to plus minus the square root of 1 all over 2 so we are now having a equal to plus minus the square root of 1 all over 2 and b equal to plus minus the square root of 1 all over 2. But recall from the beginning we said from our identity we said your square root of iota is equal to uh, a plus b i. So if we are to put the value of a and b into b here, into our expression here, we're going to have the square root of i equal to the plus minus the square root of 1 all over 2 plus minus the square root of 1 all over 2i. So putting this plus minus into consideration, we can rewrite the whole of this expression. Thus, let's write it here as the square root iota is equal to, yeah, we take the positive one, which is uh, the square root of 1 all over 2 plus the square root of 1 all over 2 i, okay, or uh, we have this as the square root of 1 all over 2, let's put this minus plus the square root of 1 all over 2 i or into a minus yeah okay because if you use this minus to open up this it's going to give you what we have here as a minus sign here and this is the positive part of it okay so this mark the end of the proof to uh the square root of our uh, iota i all right so if you've gained something if you get some value from this video thus far give the video a thumbs up 
So my viewer will drop this uh, uh, challenge. I believe you must have learned something from this video, but if it is not okay by you, still drop it in the comment section. But if you learn something good from this uh, video, from this proof, also drop it in the comment section by saying thanks, Jay, or by saying thanks for a job well done. Okay, you have a better way of proving this um, uh, mathematical challenge, also drop it in the comment section. Remember, this is all I must TV, and my name is Jix Anemo. We love you because you are always there. Bye for now.